Welcome to Short Takes here on Sparks 1524. I'm Nathaniel Miller. The Pensacola Museum at the University of West Florida tells the story of the oldest founded European city in North America. Located in the beautiful 1907 City Hall building along the historic Plaza Ferdinand VII in downtown Pensacola, the museum originated as the T.J. Wentworth Florida State Museum. Today, the Pensacola Museum traces the first inhabitants of North America prior to the landing of Europeans. Known as the Pensacola culture, this tribe was an offshoot of the larger Mississippian culture that occupied the southeastern part of the present-day United States for centuries. The Pensacola colony was founded by the Spanish in 1559, but that attempt at an empire was later decimated by a hurricane. One of the museum's signature artifacts is an anchor from a shipwreck dating to this attempt. The 1559 founding was followed by several other aborted colonial ambitions, during which time the Spanish founded the city of St. Augustine. Pensacola has become the oldest founded European city in North America, but St. Augustine remains the oldest continually inhabited city in North America. Notable exhibits at the museum also include a recreation of the famous Trader John's Bar, unofficial home to the Navy's Blue Angels for decades, the growth of Pensacola from the Civil War into the Industrial Age, and the difficult but critical story of Pensacola's struggle with Jim Crow laws and the 20th century civil rights movement. The museum even features an exhibit telling visitors how museums safely store artifacts. The museum is open six days a week, closing only on Mondays. Admission tickets for the museum also gain visitors access to other sites operated by the University of West Florida Historic Trust. For more information about the Pensacola Museum of History at the University of West Florida, see their official website, which has been linked below in the description. This has been Short Takes from Sparks 1524. Have a great week, and remember to go and do great things.